How's it everyone? Welcome to another court checklist right here on Open Court. So today on this court checklist, I'm going to be talking about a subject which I've been getting a lot of requests for, and that's my personal top five favorite polyester strings. So before I get into my top five, I just want to give a quick honorable mention because in my top five, I wanted them to be all different brands so you won't see the same brand more than once. So the company that makes this honorable mention string is already included in my top five and so I just wanted to give a shout out to this particular string and that is the Solinko Revolution. So that means that there's another Solinko string that's in the top five but before that the reason why I like the Solinko Revolution is for that great control and spin. Solinko Revolution I've reviewed on the channel and so check out that review if you want to know more about it but the Revolution gives great control. It's it doesn't play dead, but it's not quite as crisp and lively as some of the other strings that I like, which is why it's not included in my top five, but it is very, very good in giving control and producing a lot of spin due to its hexagonal makeup. It is a bit stiff when you start playing with it. You can maybe hit against the wall a little bit or try and warm up with it to break it in. But once it breaks in and settles into the racket, it settles very nicely and then you feel really connected to the ball and taking big swings with it. So if you guys haven't tried it, check out Solenko Revolution. All right, so now let's get into the top five. Number five on my list of favorite copolyester tennis strings is Yonex Polytour Fire. So maybe you guys have heard of Yonex and the Polytour lineup of strings. They're one of the most popular lineups on the market right now. Interestingly though, the Fire doesn't have a lot of reviews online, but it's my personal favorite string in the Yonex lineup because it is the crispest and liveliest playing in the Yonex lineup. And I like that type of feedback. I like to carve up the court with slices, angles, drop shots. I like to hit into the corners, aim for lines. Especially when I play doubles, I like to use the entire width of the court. The Polytour Fire gives me the confidence to do that. Also, it's a typical round string, so I, it's good as a cross string in a hybrid because it has a very slick coating and it'll allow the mains to move very well for that snapback. From what I've read, it also includes the same technology that's included in the more popular Polytour Rev string, and that's the silicone oil infusion. So there's oil infused inside the string. So as the coating wears out and you use it a lot, it still maintains that snapback because the oil that's infused inside the string will allow the string to continue sliding. If you guys have not tried Polytour Fire, it's fire, so check it out. Number four on this list is Luxalon Alu Power Feel. Now I have reviewed this string on this channel. Alu Power Feel is the exact same string, exact same formula as the traditional Alu Power. The only difference is the thickness. Alu Power Feel is a 120 millimeter gauge. The traditional, uh, original Alu Power is one to five millimeter gauge. So it's five millimeters thinner and that extra five millimeters thinner means that it gets a little bit more spin and power. It's a little bit more forgiving on the arm, but it still maintains that crisp, lively playing response that the Alu Power is known for. It loses tension a bit faster than Alu Power and the original Alu Power was not good at maintaining tension in the first place. And so if you're sensitive to tension loss, this might not be the best string for you, but if you like to play the type of game that's similar to mine, where you rely a lot on touch, the Alu Power Feel will give you that. The Luxon Alu Power Feel is now simply called Alu Power 120. So if you guys ever see that on the market, that is the Alu Power Feel. Check it out. Earlier in my honorable mention, I mentioned the string called Solenko Revolution. Well, number three on this list of top five is Solenko's Tour Bite. Tour Bite is my favorite in the Solenko lineup. It is one of my favorite strings, period, because it has a four-sided construction, it has very sharp sides, and it gets a tremendous amount of spin and control. I can freely swing away with the Tour Bite from the baseline on ground strokes. It also has that crisp touch response, which I like at the net especially, to be able to slice and dice, hit some drop shots, use the width of the court, and pull my opponents out wide. On the kick serve especially, I can really feel my serve kicking and putting pressure on my opponents. I just really like the Tour Bite all around from all areas of the court and I think it is a great string. It's Solinko's flagship string. I'm sure many of you guys have tried it and if you haven't, 
I highly highly recommend it especially to you advanced players with huge aggressive swings. This is one of the firmer strings on the market. I think it's the firmest in my top five and it'll help you to keep your balls inside the lines. So number two on my top five is Ytex Quadro Twist. So Ytex is a company that I believe is criminally underrated. They make great uh, polyester strings, especially on the softer side of the spectrum. They help you to protect their arm. The Quadro Twist is their flagship poly. It is on the softer side, but I wouldn't call it mushy. I don't like mushy playing strings because they're not crisp. They don't give me that feedback. The Quadro Twist is sits right in that Goldilocks zone of softness. So it actually gets a decent amount of power, but it's also firm enough that I get amazing control and that crisp response allows me to go for my shots with confidence. I can hit short angles that pull my opponents off the court. I can hit drop shots that stop and die inside the service box. The Quadro Twist has a very unique construction. It's four-sided, but it's twisted all along the length of the string, and so it really grabs the ball, and it actually maintains that spin for a very long time, even as the coating wears out. Thankfully, Quadro Twist has been getting more and more attention these days, so you guys have probably heard of it, but if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend Ytex Quadra Twist. I'm a Ytex ambassador and so I'll leave my discount code down below in the description. If you use that code, you'll get 15% off your entire order. Please give Ytex a try because they make great polyester strings. And number one in my top five favorite co-polyester strings. If you guys have been paying attention to my videos, you should know what it is already. It's Head Links Tour. So Head Links Tour is very similar to the other strings on this list, obviously. Um, it has a crisp response. It plays very lively. I know exactly where I'm hitting on the strings and I know exactly where the ball is going to go. This is the string that I would put in my racket if I was playing in a tournament. The Head Links Tour is a six-sided string, um, but it's not super sharp, so it's, it doesn't hurt when you string it but it maintains that snapback extremely well because it's very slick and it doesn't lose tension. Lynx Tour has a very similar response to Luxlon's Alu Power. However, the Lynx Tour maintains tension way better than Alu Power, which kind of just falls off a cliff after that first session. The Lynx Tour loses tension at a gradual pace and so you don't really notice it as much. The spin production also doesn't drop off and so I can continue to use this and not have to worry about the tension falling off. Lynx Tour is my favorite polyester on the market. The only issue, not really an issue, but something that I wish Lynx Tour had was a thinner gauge because 125 millimeter is currently the thinnest gauge it comes in. If they had a 120 millimeter head Lynx Tour, I would buy a reel of that in a heartbeat. That's how much I like this string. So the Lynx Tour is my current favorite co-polyester on the market as of July 8th, 2022. This list is subject to change as I test out more and more strings for you guys, but currently this is my top five. So thank you for watching this court checklist on my top five favorite polyesters right here on Open Court. Let us know in the comments down below what your guys' top five is. If you guys like this content and want to see more like it, be sure you overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an Open Court.